morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, hump day. How's everybody doing? Hope you had a good night's sleep last night. Could be an interesting day. Could be a slow day, too, until it gets interesting. Um, I should. That's kind of what I think it might be. All righty. Um, I have a long line drawn here, and um, since Mr. Powell will be speaking today, uh, we have to put him in the picture and the whole, not him personally, the whole, the whole Fed thing. Um, if, if the Feds don't screw it up, I think we still have higher to go. Um, exactly where, I, you know, you, you can draw all kinds of lines in here and maybe we can figure out, you know, something in here. But uh, I truly believe that if the uh, Feds don't screw it up, or if the market is remains somewhat happy of whatever the the feds have to say or do, uh, and then of course we have jobs uh, jobs numbers coming out <clears throat> into the week, so we want to watch that. But I, I truly believe we have more upside here on the spy, so I'm going to have to remain very very bullish today, unless well, <laughs> unless something goes drastically wrong around this two. 2 p.m. time or so. So, um, okay. Um, let's take a look at some charts here. Let's do that. Um, let's uh, start with this BGFE. Uh, BGFE, uh, its earnings are out of the picture. And uh, we've got a little bottom here. We've been flirting with the 50 period moving average. And you can see right here, if we take these highs we broke out and then we've just flirted with that little support area and, and the 50. Well here we broke out of the 50. We came down and put a little bottom in and then rallied up. Looks like we're up this morning a little bit. This is one that I would put on the watch list. Uh, I've got it on my watch list and I'm going to hunt for an entry. The type of entry I'm going to look for is a pullback maybe into the 3 h trap it may also be something to do with a, uh, you know, a buy over this breakout right there, right here. Um, I can't, I can't predict exactly what I'm going to do and when I'm going to do it, uh, but I do like this chart and I think this chart says has some upside potential. Now we can, we can go all the way up here to this uh, 35 area, but I think if we just do this and just. Let's run this. There we go. That way we can see what we've got here. You know, just from, um, there we go. You know, just from here up is 21-22% uh, uh, in this box right here. And then if we want to run it up all the way, which it, you know, there's nothing said the price can't go there. You're looking at 33% here uh, just to retest these highs. So I'm kind of I'm kind of big on BGIF, and I'm kind of big on big here. Uh, thanks. Somebody posted this in the room last night uh, at, at the members webinar. I appreciate that. This is a nice chart. Uh, I love the bottom. We've got a nice little uh, shoulder type move here, a head here, a shoulder here. Uh, we also have a nice little, let's change color. Uh, nice little ladle or handle and then we have a scoop pattern that has come up uh, I like this a lot and now it is now yesterday it was a rounded bottom breakout uh, it's still a rounded bottom breakout and uh, I'm I, I, I like the way this is acting here earnings are not till the first part of December we'll look for a better opportunity to buy I don't believe right now the second is the best opportunity to buy it may give it today and it may give it um, this week. We'll keep it on the watch list. Might not even be till next week. Um, the rounded bottom breakout, this is, uh, uh, I think most of you know, I, the end of the month here, I'll be uh, teaching a class on the rounded bottom breakout. Um, and uh, two days to choose from Thursday uh, or Saturday, your choice. And uh, But if anyone's interested on that. Um, Target-wise, we're going to look at the dotted deuce. I don't have the dotted deuce on this chart. That's something I will be covering. Whoops, wrong one. Wrong one. There it is. 
that's something I'll be covering uh, in the class, uh, the usage of the dotted deuce up here. And right now, it sure looks to me like uh, this has a path up there, and that's about 16%. Uh, so not a bad trade. Looking forward to that one, perhaps. Uh, BTBT, I, I just, I, I've had this on the watch list several times. I have to put it back here. I just think it's something we need to keep in our forefront. We just need to keep it there on the watch list. Uh, I do. I say we. I do. Um, now I'm I'm still in BTBT, and I'm just kind of patiently waiting for that for that breakout here. Uh, if it doesn't come, then my stop area is going to be around the 50 period moving average, so around 1067 here, 65 maybe. Uh, any anything down below that, I may have to get out of it. But I'll get right back into it if it starts to move up. Uh, I think it's got a lot of upside potential. Uh, I'm going to have to go with something like that. And then, you know, depending on where, like I say, I'm already in it. So somewhere about a 75% move. Um, even if we came down to, say, this area right in here, which that seems very logical to me, even that's, 23, 24%. Uh, Chewy. Okay. Chewy just looks good. <laughs> Chewy looks good. Chewy looks very set up. Um, there's been a lot of people in the trading room here that's made some money on Chewy on this run up. Now that we're up over the 50 period moving average, it pulled back and it's testing now. This morning, it looks like buyers are trying to pick some up down here. Uh, let's see if that holds. This could be an absolute trade. Earnings not till December. Uh, we're looking at 15% to the 200-period uh, moving average up there. BX, I like the way BX is set up. Uh, anywhere in this box area to me is a buy. Now, it doesn't mean that it's a buy right now. It could be a buy three days from now inside this box. It could also be a buy on a breakout. I'm going to follow price. I'm going to use the live trading alert scanner to help me with that. And I will work on an entry there. Speaking of live trading alerts, you guys remember that today, Wednesday, November 3rd at 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, Ed will be having a live trading alert webinar in the live trading alert room over there. That is open to the public, by the way. Um, X. Uh, anytime we have a chart that does this, uh, a trend, and it rallies up and pulls back, that catches my eyes. It, it just That's just one of the things that just sticks out like a sore thumb to me. And that's exactly what we have here. Uh, we've got a rally, and here we have this rally up, and there's our pullback right inside uh, the 3H trap here. Now... I'm going to be looking for an entry. The entry could be in the 3H trap, and the entry could be a breakout of the 3H trap. I don't know yet, and um, I would like to get it down here, but I want I would like a little more stability here. I don't want this jerking around that it's doing right now. And what I mean, just big gap up. Now it moves down. Ugly bearish candle here, bearish engulf. So, you know, I'd really like this thing to settle down just a tiny bit. But if it starts to break out, that just might be a buy for me. Again, you know, I'll use a scanner to, to help capture that in a timely manner. Um, once we break out, there's a little bit to chew through up here, a little bit ragged. Uh, but there's a 12% move back up to this $30 area. Um, MU. I have to put MU on the watch list. Earnings. Uh, in January, so there's plenty of time here. We're done with earnings on this thing for a while. We are still in a downtrend. We are in that downtrend right there. Um, I like what we're doing here. I like the move up. And if we can stabilize and put in a reasonably good, uh, some reasonably good price action in here, uh, I think MU might be a buy. I'm not interested in getting in early. I would rather it move up uh, a little bit, show some stability, uh, and then MU might be 
something to look at. Oracle. Um, I put Oracle on the watch list. Uh, yesterday had a great candle. And then I noticed this morning, man, this thing is holding up here pretty good. I also have to recognize the supporting area right through here. Um, it, it, you know, <laughs> charts, they don't have a clue what exact is. It, it, it's How can you take 18 million shares being traded and, and be exact? Uh, I know in a perfect world, it would have been better to come back a little bit lower, but let's not argue with price. Price wins hands down every single time. And right now, Hey, if this, were, if this is where buyers want to start buying it, who are we to change their mind? Um, and we're not anybody there. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. I would like it to break out. Not necessarily interested in buying it here, but I am interested in buying it over 97. And that really takes out this little high right in here. I don't care much about this high. This high right here is the one I care about. We take that out, then I, I think we go higher. Um, LVS. Now I'm currently, am I? Yeah. Currently in LVS. Truly, I would like LVS to move up and get out of it before the Fed start talking today, uh, before we start learning something from them. Um, I would much rather that happen. Uh, and that is my plan going in today. Uh, LVS, one of those rounded bottom breakout trades. This trade goes back to, well, it goes back quite a few years, I guess. And uh, it is truly uh, a money-making trade. And it's it, it just, you know, when you understand how to use the, um, where is it there? When you understand how to use the moving average, and it's so easy to connect the moving averages with uh, price action. It just gives you targets, gives you entries. It's just a cool, uh, a cool little uh, chart setup here. So I love what it's doing. I, I kind of want to get out of it just because I want to protect. I don't want to be involved with the Fed business going on today. Uh, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling uh, pressured on what to do, just sharing my thoughts here uh, for my trading. But I know that this morning I'm going to sit back, kind of cruise, just check out some charts. Not going to do too much today. It's going to be pretty much a laid back day. All right, for me anyway. Thanks, everybody. I do appreciate it. Uh, I'll be back here in about 15 minutes and kick this market uh, in the rear, see if we can make some money. Thank you.